Okay, so so far we have created master image for uh, virtual desktop and we have uh, created machine catalog delivery services, provisioned virtual desktop, and we have tested our virtual desktop successfully. Now it's time to create a master image for Windows Server 2012 R2 so that we can provision our Zenapp servers. So again, in Citrix Zen Center, I will create a VM, which is Windows Server 2012 R2. Here I will specify a name. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's 12 R2. ISO image from ISO library. I selected, I select ISO image for 2012 R2. And here are resources, two CPUs, two gigs RAM. Let's make it four gigs, yeah. Four gigs of RAM. No GPUs, I would like to create it over here. Local storage, it's the only storage I have that works zero. And that's it. So now this virtual machine will boot up with this 2012 ISO image. And we'll start installing Windows Server 2012 R2 on this VM. And yep, as you can see. So I'll take a short break and we'll I'll come back when it's done. All right, so server installed. And now the next thing we need to do is to install Zen Server Tools. Zen Server Tools uh, is required to optimize this VM, like VMware Tools in case of VMware vSphere. And uh, so, Depends, uh, once you install virtualization tools, depends on your OS sometimes, it needs a couple of restarts, sometimes just one restart. But uh, once we install these tools, uh, all right, uh, we will continue further. So, let me install these tools and I'll get back to you. Okay, so right now this machine is not in domain and it has some biggest name to it. Zen server tools are installed and what I would like to do now is uh, let's say Uh, install Microsoft Office. Uh, there is one more thing I just want to tell you. Uh, actually, not right now. Let's just wait for it. So, why I'm installing Microsoft Office? Because I would like to publish Microsoft Office as an application to my Zen desktop environment using this Citrix Zen app server. 
So Office has been installed. I just uh, went just went through it. I paused the video and went through it. Now it's time to install VDA agent. And this is the time which I, I wanted to tell you something, but I said, let me just wait. And this is the time I want to tell you. Okay, uh, when we will install VDA agent, I will show you something very interesting. Remember VDA agent, the component which prepares system for virtualization that we install in master image, and this is our master image, right? And choose and desktop, this time we choose VDA for Windows Server. Virtual Delivery Agent. When you install Virtual Delivery Agent, it will detect that it's Windows Server and knows that you want to deploy applications or desktop maybe. Maybe you want to deploy to remote desktop sessions, right? Or maybe you want to uh, publish applications. In both cases, you need um, remote desktop licenses. So now we'll go with this, create a master image. We are installing VDA. And VDA is required and Citrix receiver. Okay, I will leave this Citrix receiver. We will also install it. And here we can specify delivery controller address so that this which can be registered with it and VDA can communicate with delivery controller. Good. It will optimize this machine for performance. It will install remote assistance and real-time audio. Go next. It will automatically create firewall rules for these ports, even if firewall is turned off. And now, look. It is installing Microsoft Remote Desktop Session Host and Desktop Microsoft Desktop Experience. So this is what I mean. Uh, you need to have Microsoft Remote Desktop Services licenses or Microsoft Terminal Services licenses for this machine, not basically for the master, master image, but mainly for the machine or servers that we will provision using this master image. So make sure you have appropriate licenses. Okay. So guys, now it's installing all these components. It will require reboots because we need one reboot for remote desktop and then on the reboot for VDA, that's fine, installed, and okay, I rebooted the server, I'm back inside the server, so once again, when you install VDA, it detects that it's a server OS and it's uh, installed Windows Remote Desktop Services role and Windows Desktop, uh, Microsoft uh, Desktop Experience. Uh, make sure you have appropriate licenses. Uh, now we have our image ready and we will provision one Zen app server using this image in next video. So stay tuned.